find that album. What album? Troglodyte. Troglodyte? Jimmy Castor Bunch. Jimmy Castor Bunch. Bear the but what what is it again now? Where is it? Where's that 45? Yeah. Bertha Butt Boogie. Bertha Butt Boogie. Yeah. Two sisters. Uh, Bertha, two sisters. Bertha and something else. Who is the other sister? Bertha Butt Boogie. Who is the sister? That's the trivia question of the week for the Craig uh, Show. There was two of them. What is Bertha Butt's? The Bertha Butt Boogie by Jimmy Castor. There was two birth. There was two sisters. The Butt sisters. But I don't know their names. <laughs> What do you got here, Ed? You got some punk CDs, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, let's look at Let's see what Ed dug CDs. up this week. Ramones Mania. I think I gotta get this. Misfits, Misfits. Black Flag. Classic. Great song, Six Pack. Yes, sir. Henry Dead, Rollins in his Dead early Kennedys. days. Dead Kennedys. Dead Kennedys. And another Misfit with my ex wifes picture on the cover. Oh, man. Yeah. I used to have all these on vinyl. In fact, I used to have the Bedtime for Democracy t-shirt. And uh, I had to turn it inside out at school once because uh, I got right? in trouble. Yeah, Controversial. Wow. What's so controversial? Those were the Reagan years. You had to turn it inside out? I had to turn it inside out or I had to call my mom to come pick me up from school. It was uh, deemed inappropriate. Now, shirts today has got everything on their shirts, man. I see them here at the market walking by with... As much dirty language as you can put on anything they get on their shirts. Now see here, this is the special. Talk about dirty language and... Guar. Guar. There's Guar. a good one. And these guys. Scum dogs of the, the universe. Sex Pistols. Uh, from the hang on there. They're one of the first. first. And now the Dead Milkman and... Eat Your Paisley. And Descendants. I don't know. Descendants, Descendants. are pretty good. Are they? Uh, the guys in that, they also had a group called All Descendants. They had this character Milo in pretty much all his albums. Because like Milo grows up, Milo goes to college. Okay. And uh, I never a couple that, other man. ones. Yeah, I used to have all that shit on vinyl. Yeah, bro, I get Dead Milkman. I used to have the Eat Your Paisley t-shirt. This is a good one, Beelzebubba. Smoking banana peels. Yes, that's back in the... When they first started smoking banana fields, Jerusalem. and yet, in the 40s, when I was in elementary school, we used to tear the corn stalks and the, all the hairs on the corn stalks and dry them out and smoke them, even though we didn't even know what we were doing. You know, <laughs> we, we would roll those and smoke them. And then we had morning glories all over the front of my apartment, only I was a kid, so I didn't... I'll bet you, if I ever sniffed them too much and got high, I'd be, I'd be getting high off the morning glories before anyone. The more, we don't want to encourage that to our younger viewers. No, not morning glories, no. That's a flower, man. You ain't supposed to eat it. Flower power? Phew. Yeah, that was in the city in the uh, 1940s. And what about Ed's uh, organic mushroom tea? Mushrooms? We haven't had mushrooms in long, quite a while now for some reason. Uh, Either the farmers are protecting their fields better, or nobody even goes looking for mushrooms anymore. Uh -huh. And yet, um, my son and his buddies come in one afternoon, they had two bags of mushrooms from uh, Valcaria, South Brevard County. And, uh, and I watched them, they were making tea, and they all had Gatorade bottles. And after a while, the tea boiled, and they started filled. They were going to a White Snake concert, okay, <laughs> in Orlando. And on here Marshall we are tea. in Coco, and I'm watching them. And as soon as they filled their bottle up, they put ice cubes in. They were drinking it like it was water. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm saying, man, these guys are fucking. You're not supposed to drink that shit like that. Well, it was about 11 o'clock, and an uh, and a door opens, and here comes three of the four coming in. The fourth one is in the car. He's out. They couldn't even make Orlando. <laughs> they stopped. The guy driving got out and puked all over the highway. The other guy got out and fell down. My son was in the back seat. He was like laying down. It took him two hours to get back from the highway. They were all messed up. <laughs> and the next day, to show you how good mushrooms, the next day we reheated it, boiled them again, and me and my son watched this. Who is it again now? It begins with an S. 
We watched the video with laser shoot, laser. Star dance. Wars, Star yeah. Trek. It was a uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins. Yes, <laughs> and so that mushrooms worked. We only needed a half a glass, and we were stoned. Nice. Now them mushrooms are, are great because you can make them stretch. For a month, if you make nice tea up, you can always just sip on your tea and get high. Not that we recommend that for our young no, viewers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Per se. You've seen that Seinfeld episode? Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. But back in the 40s, before, during the war, there was no drugs, were never even mentioned. It was all alcohol when probation stopped and people were drinking. I don't think marijuana came in about 1950s. Uh, I was in Korea and I uh, we traded with the Russians. They were actually Chinese. And we traded. I traded the first Playboy magazine what? for comic books. Oh, there's nothing wrong with comic books. What no, comic book? Batman? Comic, Flash? Comic books were a dime a dozen back in the uh, 50s. Sergeant Rock? <laughs> uh, I don't even know. All I know is we got rid of the, the Marilyn Mon Monroe first one. Fifteen hundred bucks today. And what did you trade it for? We got some smoke, which we never had before. Nice. And we got cigarettes. I didn't smoke that much, but my buddies were all cigarette fiends. And you got uh, you got your K rations like, and you had cigarettes in there. I think they were made by Lucky Strike. I'm not sure. They were strong. Oh. I like today. Like camels were back in the 50s were strong. My buddy smoked camels. They were tough, man. <laughs> and they were only about this long. Times have changed. Yeah. Well, I don't know how people smoke cigarettes today. Not that there's anything wrong with it. But I was in Walmart and I look on the wall. And they're like seven dollars and five dollars and four dollars. I couldn't even afford to smoke cigarettes today. Because we used to go 35 cents in a machine. Whew. Then it went up to 50, then it went up to 75. Just like soda machines started going up. Now it's a dollar and a quarter here if you want a soda. Good lord. I'll bet you I'll bet you this place is dollar seventy-five to two dollars for a soda. Oh yeah, I just bought that Dr. Pepper for a dollar sixty-nine. I'm like, damn, yeah. two liter Walmart seventy-nine cents. That's a lot of money for a soda. Yeah, I can't afford anything. The best thing is aloe. You want to drink your aloe, kids, every day. Have a drink of aloe. You can buy it in Publix. You'll never have stomach trouble. Aloe? Aloe. Aloe works on your cuts. Like you aloe, aloe plants? Yeah, the aloe plant. You cut yourself, you put aloe on it. It goes away in like two days. So if you drink aloe plant? You drink aloe. If it works on your outside and heals your cuts on the outside, it works on the inside too. And you drink, uh, not every day, whenever you see it in the refrigerator, pick it up and drink it and you'll never have it. I'm 74, I got no stomach problem. Damn, all I, I have is stomach problem. No, Ed is not a doctor, nor a physician's assistant. Try this at your own risk. Aloe? No, aloe's good. I'm going to have to try That's that, Ed. Herbal, yeah. See Get the one in Publix, my... though. It doesn't have any taste. Uh, it's uh, made in Florida. It's what aisle is that shit in? But a drug department. Oh. And it's on the bottom shelf because it's a gallon or a half a gallon or something. And that's safe to drink straight up? No straight up. You, there's no taste to it. You You're not mix mixing that with your, your vodka, are you? No, you can mix it in your drink. You mix it's it in your mushroom matter. tea? When you get ulcers. No, I got them. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have them. You drink, it, you drink some aloe every day. Try it. We'll try that, Ed. So we learned a lot this week on the Crate Show. Ed yeah. shared some great stories and some medical tips. There's so many medical things that you don't even have to go to the doctor for. You can That's cure right. them by... You can cure them just by... Wishing that they go away. No, one pizza pie a week, not one every day, you know, full of pepperonis. Now, that'll do you in after a while. Of course, it tastes good. <laughs> Well, you have to control your urges. That's like right. Me, I've been here 30 years. What do you think I look at when people go by? What do you think I look at the guy's pants?